Whoa. What the? What just happened? <laughs> Sounds like something crashed. <sighs> no way. Is that a person? What are they doing here? Hey there! Are you all right? Did you just crash through the window? <sighs> Good thing it was open, but still, looks like you knocked into some of the furniture pretty badly. Hey. If you're okay, can you give me some kind of sign? Oh, that voice. I'd recognize it anywhere. It's you. No way. I can't believe it. It... it really is you. That's incredible. I had been trying everything to get back in touch with you. It feels like it's been forever since I last heard your voice. Oh, Birdie, I missed you so much. I still can't believe we're together again. After being away from each other for so long, this really caught me off guard. I'm glad to see you're okay. Uh, well, uh, sort of okay, at least. It's good that you weren't too hurt. I was worried for a moment that maybe you'd been knocked unconscious. But I see you still have a few wounds on your body. That's not good. Hmm. Those bruises couldn't have been from just now, though, right? It's too soon for ones like that to have formed on your skin. Those must have been from before. Um. What happened before you came crashing in here, Birdie? Hey, hey, now. It's okay. Don't worry about the desk or the chair or the lamp. It's fine. All of those objects are replaceable. But you aren't. That's why I need to make sure you're all right. Just tell me what happened, okay, baby bird? I want to be able to help you out, but I can't unless you tell me what's going on. Huh. Okay, I think I get what happened now. So, you were fighting a villain before all this. Hmm. I see. So that explains the marks on your body from before. <sighs> Sounds like they put up a pretty tough fight. So, is the villain still after you right now? Oh, they're in custody now. <sighs> okay, I'm relieved to hear that. Good job fighting them off, Birdie. So, after you defeated them, you felt too tired from the battle you could hardly move, right? <sighs> yeah, I've been there before. 
Even if you have a strong quirk, if you're too exhausted, it can be hard to get yourself home. <sighs> when I'm too tired, I become a lot less coordinated than usual, too. I'm so sorry to hear you went through that, Birdie. No wonder you were so exhausted. You just stumbled into the first open window you could find. And? It just so happened to be mine. Good thing it didn't belong to a villain or any other kind of dangerous person. Man... I gotta say, sounds like you've been through a lot. Even if your wounds aren't too severe, we still need to get you patched up. Better to be on the safe side, after all. Here, let me get my first aid kit and... Uh, huh? <laughs> no, come on, baby bird. I thought you knew already. <laughs> I'm more than just a pretty face. <laughs> of course I know how to treat wounds, too. I've had to patch up my own injuries all the time. Now... You just hold on while I go grab the kid, okay? <laughs> All right, now. First, I should probably get you into a more comfortable position. I need to be able to prop you upright so that I can reach your wounds. <laughs> it's okay. Don't feel bad. I can help you lift yourself up. Nah, don't you move. <laughs> I'm the one who's going to take care of you now, alright, Birdie? You just hold still while I pick you up. <laughs> Don't worry. If there's anyone who knows how to handle a situation like this, it's me, of course. I'll be gentle so you won't feel any extra pain. Easy now. I'm just going to lift you up nice and slowly. There we go. Okay. How's that? More comfortable than you were before, Birdie? All right, that's good. Now then, I'll just start out by cleaning you off with some disinfectant. It, uh, might sting a little. Uh, sorry. I'll try to do it quickly and then bandage you up as soon as I can. <laughs> Let's keep talking so that you don't have to focus on the pain, okay? We definitely have lots to catch up on, so finding things to talk about won't be hard. Uh, like, uh, all the times I missed you while you were gone. <laughs> what? You're surprised to hear that? <laughs> well, of course I missed you, Birdie. Why wouldn't I? Things just weren't the same without you around. 
It was, uh, pretty lonely, actually. I mean, who else do I have to join me when I'm craving chicken skewers from my favorite restaurant at 3 a.m.? <laughs> I don't really like eating alone, but if I go during the daytime, I get swamped by fans trying to get an autograph or a selfie with me. That's why I needed you around. <laughs> okay, obviously that's not the only reason. I also miss getting to do other things with you. Not to mention all the stuff we talked about doing that we haven't had the chance to try out yet. Like that beach trip we talked about. I still really want to go with you sometime. It sounds like it would be a dream come true. Uh, just getting to enjoy the sun, the sand, <laughs> and your company, of course. I bet it would be a nice break from everything. <laughs> but once you disappeared, I, I had kind of given up on that. I wasn't totally sure what happened to you. It got me pretty worried, you know. I didn't want to assume the worst, but at the same time, it it just felt like it would be impossible to ever meet you again. No, oh, Birdie, you seriously don't have any idea how relieved I am. <sighs> Looks like you're all cleaned up now. So I'll work on bandaging you. After this, you should probably get some rest. I know all of that must have taken a toll on your body. You might not feel all the soreness until later on, so it's just better to lay down and get as much rest as you can. Once I'm done bandaging you up, you won't have to worry about any of your other injuries getting worse. <laughs> they should heal up pretty quickly. Oh, and about the furniture? Well, I guess if you do want to make it up to me, we could always go on a date. <laughs> Only when you're doing better, of course. For now, you can just stay here with me. I'm not going anywhere, Birdie. <laughs> I just hope I never lose you again. Hey there, baby bird. I hope I was able to make you feel a little better. If you enjoyed the audio, don't forget to click the subscribe button so you won't miss out on any upcoming videos. Ooh, by the way, Birdie, patreon.com slash anagomi has plenty of fun, exclusive audios for our adult listeners to enjoy, including some that features yours truly. You won't find them anywhere else, so don't forget to check them out. Or, if you're a really big fan, you can commission your very own custom audio at anagomi.com slash commissions. Now take care of yourself, Birdie. I always be thinking of you. <laughs>